You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And the thin veneer of oil sealed it all in. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Mm. Well, hello, my Liebschling. Oh, look, a little German. How are you doing today, darling? I'm doing absolutely fine. Thanks for Thanks. asking. Thanks with an F. Yeah, straight. Straight. Straight right. off. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what have you got in store for us on Showbiz this week? This week, I have got some waxy celebrity news. Waxy. 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 Candly. Candly. Mm. Oh. Well, on screen now, you can see our contact information. Yep, at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Could.TV is our website. And on YouTube or your podcast service, have a look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. And as people who have interacted with us scroll across the bottom of the screen, we get ready to speak to Mike and his buzz. What's buzzing, babes? What's buzzing? Did you just say sliding along the bottom? Yeah. Oh, well, a bit rude, isn't it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've had a thumb through the internet this week. Just a thumb. Just a little just thumb. A thumb. Yeah. Not a finger, a thumb. Well thumbed. Uh-huh, indeed. <laughs> Slipped in. Um, and the first story I've got is about someone's cat. Oh, arms are getting crossed. Oh, it's oh, serious. It's serious. Getting serious the arms are crossed. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one's about someone's automobile. Oh, okay. okay. Now, your your car, your pride and joy, yes. <laughs> um, is filled with things, isn't it? Tat. Tat. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> nice word than I was going to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going for a bit much worse. Yeah. Um, but that's that's how you customise your car. Yeah. Just, yeah. What's that? I'm not really a car person. It's just a, a, a way of getting from A to B. Filled with stuff. Filled with stuff. Crisp packets, <laughs> mouldy sausage rolls, things on the dashboard, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah, fluffy things. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much our set here. Yeah, on a dashboard. in a car. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's safe. Um, well, how would you feel about a gold car? A gold car? Gold car? Um, I'm not that bothered. Like shiny, shiny gold? No. No? No. I wouldn't be up for it? No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, You're going to tell me anyway. I'm going to tell you. Because <laughs> there's a story about a gentleman whose shiny gold car... Okay. ...suddenly and mysteriously burst into flames <gasps> while he was driving it. Oh, my goodness. Why is that? Yeah, we don't know. Um, but Carson Mamandi was driving through Manchester, pulled over, and realised that his car was aflame. Oh. Um, the fire brigade came out, put it out, but his car is no more. Oh. Where was the flame from? Was it a flame from the outside, or was it a flame from inside. the inside? The inside? From the boot area. Oh. Yes. So his, his lovely shiny car is no sh not shiny anymore. Oh, dear. Why? Yes. Um... But I thought the most interesting part of this story wasn't the fact that his car was on fire. No. It's the outfit he chose in which to go out in. I, I saw the, the outfit, <laughs> yeah. It looks like he's wearing his pyjamas. <laughs> yeah. And it's the fact that one one of his trouser legs is rolled up yeah. to his ankle and then the other is down. I think it's what the kids wear. Yeah. It's, um, I, I have a feeling it's a very expensive tracksuit. Probably. It looks like it might be Vers Chechi. Yeah, but it's... Hideous. It is hideous. Absolutely. Um, hideous. And I also like the fact that that gold paint job doesn't look very well because the the car that's bit of the car that is burnt mm -hmm. is completely white. Well, that's it's, what happens when cars get set on fire. They go white. Yeah. Oh, I did not know it's, that. It's the, it's the metal oxidizes. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. I think he golded it himself, didn't he? <laughs> he golded it <laughs> with a gold pen. <laughs> well, with a P in it, you have to shake. <laughs> yeah. Took yeah. him two no, weeks. It, it had been wrapped. Wrapped? Wrapped. Oh, that's right, they, okay. They, that's what they call Yeah. Put a wrapping around your car. Yeah. yeah. Like a shiny condom. Nice. Mm, I thought you'd appreciate that one. Um, but we're staying on the car theme. Are we? We are, because I know you love a car. I love a car. Because it's a play, way to get I'm, from A to B. And keep I'm getting enough. It. Yeah. Um, and this is how Ford in America mm. have combated homophobia on their website. Oh. Okay. Um, so they launched a new, a new pickup truck. Okay. okay. That came in a very blue, blue. Right? Mm. And someone went, that's very gay. 
The car was very the, gay. The colour was very gay. Blue. The blue, right? And Ford went, now nah, you want to see a gay paint job. And so they promoted two pickup trucks okay. in rainbow and gold. Yeah, that's nice. Because I thought, yeah, like, you want to say it's very gay, it's just being homophobic. Yeah. This is yeah. very gay. Yeah. I thought it was and good. then they should have made the person that made the comment drive around in it. Oh, it's actually a very expensive car. Is so it? That's been a bit of a... Oh. Like, oh, be homophobic, you get a really good car. Yeah. Or taking his car... And then wrapped and it then in. And then wrapped it in. Yeah, yeah. Which is, a, 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 which is like just a amazing, anything. It just, you know. Yeah, so you could get your car wrapped in, in a rainbow. I, I've seen cars that... Um, um, ombre. Mm -hmm. Rainbow ombre. That's what I'd go for. <laughs> Really subtle and understated. So yeah, yeah, something that would you know, when the sun hits it, sends out laser beams that shoots pigeons, <laughs> like a disco ball. That's going to be safe. Mm. Yeah, clearly you've not been inside my car. <laughs> I have been inside your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like crawling inside a three-year-old's mind. The next story, mm. you and your neighbours. Mm. Yeah, you have a good relationship with your neighbours. I don't acknowledge them. You don't acknowledge them, they ignore you. No. So. I, say, <laughs> I say hello to one uh -huh. if our paths should cross. Well, a man has been baffled because his neighbours have complained to him. And he doesn't know why. Why, my? Okay. He was, he was curing something called beef jerky in his back garden. So with America then? No, this is in the UK. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and what... You've jerked your beef a few times, haven't you? Can't stop it. I can stop it. I'm not doing it now, am I? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not answering that because of what I, I know is coming next. Oh, time. okay. I'm so, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, the, the process of dehydrated meat is actually a very smelly process. Oh, okay. So this gentleman didn't want to do it inside. Why well, would you want your house to smell like beef? Exactly. Who wants to smell like beef jerky? Who wants to? Who wants to dunk a bit of beef? So he's doing it outside in his garden. Okay. Okay. His neighbours have complained as it was making them feel physically sick as they are vegan. Well, I, I can I can see that. You can see that they're the, the vegan. No, I can see how they would be upset <laughs> okay. by the sm smell of, of beef. <laughs> but they weren't upset if someone was having a barbecue. Is it not a different? Like you say, that it's a different process. It's a different process, and it's a slightly different smell, but it's still flesh. 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 <laughs> there was a thought there. That, 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 <laughs> if it if it's like a really meaty smell, it is a very. Because I would imagine smell. if you're smoking something, mm -hmm. it's like in a. They put them in little houses, don't they? Little wooden houses. Don't mock me. <laughs> little house. They do little wooden shacks. A little smoker. Yeah. 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 And then that smoke just goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Whereas your barbecue, it's kind of l located in an area, isn't it? So the smoke. Well, the smoke just still kind goes of, everywhere. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't go. It does. It kind of just goes up in the air. And then out. Uh, so, still sm so if your next door neighbour's having a barbecue, you can still smell smoke. Yeah, but it sounds like he was smoking a lot of beef. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't smoking, it was dehydrating it. He was dehydrating it. Yeah. How do you dehydrate beef? You dry out. You just, you just salt them I mean, warm. if we're talking like, sort of like cow carcasses strung on the washing line, yeah. just, you know, drying out in the sunshine, I wouldn't be very happy. And if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is the Cud.tv. And on YouTube, we're under Chewing the Cud. So now let's have a look at story of the week. Have you ever done a prank call? Yeah. Like what? Um, I haven't personally done a prank, prank call, but there used yeah. to be these telephone numbers that you would give somebody mm. and say, oh, this number's called, can you ring them back? And it would be like a recorded message of somebody saying something, you know, like stuff. Um, and I used to... <laughs> Used to do it to a, to a person I used to work with, and it used to really upset them. But made me do it more because it was funny. <laughs> what a dress. like, like one was like an angry person, like going, "What are you ringing me for?" Um, yeah, okay. So there you go. <laughs> it's, so you used other people's humour. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. that's okay. Um, well, I've got a story here about a Virginia school board. So this is in America. 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 Why did you talk like Prince Charles? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, it just happened. Okay. It happened, let's move on. Um, and that's about them having a meeting. And of course, they're calling people to the floor, saying, okay, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? But we're given a list of names that didn't quite seem legitimate. Oh. So they had um, options. So they asked for uh, Phil McCracken. I know him well. Yeah. So Bend over. I know his partner. Yeah. Um, Suk Mahadik, mm -hmm. um, Ophelia Macrack, okay, 
Eileen Dover. Mm hmm. Don Keddick. Don Keddick. Don Keddick. Don Keddick. Why do they just say Donkey Dick? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not a name. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I <laughs> Don Key Dick. Yeah. That would have been much easier. That would be that, yeah. That's what I said. I know. Don okay. Keddick. Yeah. <laughs> um, our last one was Wayne Kerr. Oh. Yes. They don't really use that word in America, though. No, which is why it was funny, because there's an American guy going, Wayne Kerr. Oh. Wayne Kerr. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, so, so were, were they upset? Um, they didn't actually realise it happened until oh. so, like, someone in the audience was giggling. Oh, okay. So like Bar of... when Bart Simpson rings the, 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 the funny th place. The pub. The bar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when he phones yeah. up Mills and says things like he's looking for Seymour Butts. Yes. Alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah, I want a knacker off. I want a knacker off? Do you? That'll be painful. But that's the end of the buzz this week. Oh, thanks for that, Mike. Or should I say, semen stains? <laughs> a pleasure as always. But next we have, well, Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready, as best we can do, for Lee and the showbiz news. In the celebrity world, mm. you know you've made it mm -hmm. when a waxwork is made of you. All right, okay. Mm. And you know when you're on the slippery slide, mm -hmm. when your waxwork is removed. I've melted Cheryl. down into candles. Oh. Mm. Yeah, but not at the moment, not, not for RuPaul Charles, because mm -hmm. he's, he's had a waxwork made of himself. Not of RuPaul the drag queen, okay. but of RuPaul himself, boy RuPaul. Boy RuPaul. Oh. Yeah. So in um, um, Madame Two Swords in Las Vegas, Mm -hmm. He has revealed his... Well, he's not He's not made it, obviously. <laughs> Madame Two Swords made it. Um, so we've got a picture here of um, RuPaul. Which is, the, which is the waxwork and which is the real RuPaul? How could you tell? How could you... To be fair, that's actually quite a good likeness, isn't it? It is. But, but RuPaul's face isn't naturally like that anyway. That's a shed ton of makeup on RuPaul. Well, the... He, he wanted it like that, didn't he? So yeah, of course he would. He didn't say, well, I'll just take all my makeup off and look like a liver spot. Look like a normal glasses person. On. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't the first time that RuPaul has had a waxwork made okay. of him. So in 2000, at Madame Two Swords in New York, he had um, the persona of, of RuPaul, the, uh -huh. the drag version of RuPaul okay. made. And that was their first ever um, drag figure. So we've got, we've got a picture of, of, of the RuPaul drag doll. Doll. Waxwork figure, yeah. I've seen. I've been to New York and mm -hmm. I saw that. I didn't know who he was at the time. She was. You didn't I was know like, who RuPaul was. No, it was two thousand. We didn't really. He wasn't really popular over here then. And I was like, oh, who's that? Is do that you not? Lady? Do, you, do you not remember RuPaul and Elton John doing "Don't Go Breaking My Heart"? Very vaguely. Very vaguely. And, and um, Cover Girl. That, they all came out in the nineties. Yeah, but it, yeah, yeah, no. Also, was in that TV show with um, LL Cool J. No, I didn't watch. Did it. a guest guest no. spot. No, I didn't watch it. I watched it. A little cool, Jay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, so, um, yeah. So he. So he is now. You can go and visit either the boy RuPaul or drag RuPaul. But you have to get on a plane yeah, to decide to which one. See, <laughs> yeah. To see which one. Yeah. Um, but he's not the only celebrity. <gasps> not the only celebrity. So recently, very recently, Little Mix. Mm -hmm. They have had at London Madame Two Swords. Mm -hmm. They have had their waxworks revealed, and they're actually really good. So. Controversially, uh -huh. they've it's all fi it's all four of them, not how they are as a threesome now. Um, so that's from one of their videos, um, and they do look really good. And um, we've got another picture of them just kind of touching, touching them, up. touching the, the makeup ladies. That you, if you didn't know that was a waxwork, would you know that was a waxwork? Without me knowing it's a waxwork, would I know it's a waxwork? If I hadn't said that's a waxwork, Mike, uh -huh. would you? And I said, oh, look at this picture. Would you go? Oh, that's waxwork. I'd have gone, who are they? <laughs> but you wouldn't know that was a waxwork. Well, no. Perhaps not. No. I love waxworks. I can tell. You I don't know why. It's just really bizarre. I just... But because you don't have you have a thing about statues. Well, you don't like statues. Not gi giant statues. 
oversized snatch okay. statues. Waxworks are fine because they're in proportion. <laughs> <laughs> so if we did a giant waxwork... Oh, no. That Jeff Goldblum one that they did a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. oh, that would have been freaky. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I may visit a waxworks <laughs> oh, okay. at some point. That's that. We'll move that aside, right? <laughs> Dolly Parton news. <laughs> Speaking about plastic. Sipping out plastic seamlessly into that. So, she, so, not her. Okay. But a bar called White Limousine. It's Limousine. Mm -hmm. Limousine. In um, Nashville. Uh huh. Has created a Dolly bar on the roof of their car. Well, roof of their car. Roof of their bar. <laughs> Not on the roof of the car. It would be a really small one and a little bit rubbish. <laughs> so, yeah, they wanted to kind of take Dolly's essence mm -hmm. and turn it into, like, a, an experience for people. So... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I've got the <laughs> image of the milking Dolly Parton. <laughs> we need your essence, Dolly. <laughs> oh, no. So, so basically, you, it's everything is pink, everything is fluffy, everything okay. is very glittery. Okay. Um, look at that. Would, I love that. I, I could tell you love that. <laughs> it's got a pool. It's With got the a, word pool written in it, just in, in case you were unsure well, where you were. It's, it's, like, it's not elitist, elitist. So they basically said, if you drink champagne, you're welcome. If you drink a beer, you're still welcome. Okay. Still costs horrendously a moment. Yeah, say anywhere you would go. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, you can go and there's, there's all sorts of stuff. There is... Um, little rooms that you can go and sit they've got crushed velvet we've got another picture of of um of the bar so we've kind of like got this like a seating area inside okay that second picture that's not there, a seating area that's a bed well you kind of just relax don't you that's quite clearly a in bed no it's not it's in the middle of a bar which you just tells you what kind of bar it is not no it's <laughs> not and then the 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 giant dolly head is made out of chicken wire okay yeah. See, there used to be a bar in Manchester where I used to go out a lot, mm. right? And it had beds. Okay. Right? They said there were just chaise long, well, they were quite clearly double beds, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone would just lay back having a beer. And the amount of times you'd walk up to people and you'd be going, oh, you're not having just a cuddle, are you? <laughs> Was it in somebody's house? No, like? this is an actual bar. It's now closed. Okay. Not for that reason. Did they put duvets on the beds? No. Okay. It was just like a velvet-covered bed. And well, you know, this is Man that's Manchester. This is Dollywood. So, it's different, isn't there? It's pink. You're paying a lot of money to get in. Doesn't matter what you drink. Yeah, well, there's, like it's, it's like the inside of my head. Crushed velvet, <laughs> flowery textiles. <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you? No, I'm, I'm just, a blank. I've just said it sounds like a house. You went, it's like the inside of my head. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of like a high-class house inside yeah, yeah. of my head. Yeah. So, so, although she has not sort of endorsed, endorsed it. it herself... Yeah. She's not angry at it. She's not mad at it. Um, but this kind of comes in the, at the same time that Dolly recreated her 1978 Playboy cover for her husband's birthday. Oh, look at you, Mark. You're not happy. We've got a picture of her, of her doing it here. So, so she posed for Playboy in 1978. Yeah. Okay. And she always said that she wanted to recreate it for her husband. Mm -hmm. So Playboy no longer exists, yep. the magazine. So she went and did it herself. Okay. So she so she recreated it and presented it to her husband. Now her husband is 79. Mm -hmm. And Dolly's 75. I was to say she's not that old. So, you know, so she's 50 years between the yeah. two. Um good good for her. Would you put, if say you if say you were in a relationship mm -hmm. and you know, that person said, oh, I'd love a naked poet to... No, let's not. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I, uh, I would, I'd let say the collection's in the cupboard. Go help yourself. Go help yourself. Just get the Polaroids out. Just whatever, whichever one you want. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the zucchini is very popular. <laughs> There's a new dating show. That's, again, that seamless, <laughs> seamless goes from one thing to another. <laughs> new dating. So we've had all sorts. So we've had dinner day, we've had naked attraction, sexy beasts, all of them lot. Mm -hmm. But now we've got something called, there was, a, there was a television program called Naked and Afraid. Yeah. Have you seen that? No. So basically. Because those two things don't work well. <laughs> they get. If, if I'm afraid, I'm not looking my best. <laughs> well, naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not naked and cold. It's just naked. No, naked. And I didn't mean down. I meant as in I'm not going to look. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it had that. an effect on your genitalia. No, <laughs> well, it does, Pulled but that's, that's different. It's, that'd be impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm about to die. Twop. Right. <laughs> 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 
I mean, if you're Look scared, for the danger. If you're scared, you're kind of going, oh, no yeah. one's scared faces are attractive as well. Yeah. It's like ugly well, crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, Naked and Afraid was a reality television show where they would get contestants, take all their clothes off, and then put them in the middle of somewhere really dangerous, and they had to like find their way out. Naked and Afraid. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like you're naked in a field full of landmines. Enjoy. <laughs> so, but this one is going to be called Naked and Afraid of Love. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you. No. <laughs> we've got a <laughs> we've got a picture of the kind of thing. I don't think those are the people that are in it. Okay. I think the you know so naked and afraid of love. So basically, what they do is sixteen complete strangers, mm -hmm. right? Eight single women and eight single men. Okay. Attempting to find true love. Mm -hmm. So they get put on an, on an island. Yeah. All their clothes are taken off them. Mm -hmm. And then they have to kind of... So it's a bit like Survivor. They've got to get along with each other and also find love at the same time. It's all out there for you to see. Or have an orgy. Or have an orgy. I don't know. So we've, <laughs> we've got a couple of pictures of them, like, doing tasks. Tasks. Oh, okay. It's uh, is it? Yeah. So... Um, Oh, I think they've kind of strategically placed like leaves and things okay. on themselves. So, they, d yeah. Aya. Yeah. She seems to be more naked than him. She's very lucky. He's an attractive gentleman. He's very, and, and, and ripped. Very ripped. They're not going to put ugly people on this island, no, are not. they? No, they're not. They're not. They're not. That's fine. But, you know, so they kind of, I mean, we're, we kind of come to the, to the point now where what else is there to do on a, on a dating show? You know, flay them alive? You know, just, I just <laughs> going from first dates to first fists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F d dating internals. Let's let's you know. Ca you put a camera up somebody's, <laughs> and if that other person likes what they see, they like press a button. Yes, I like that. That <laughs> you read through in the dark. That digestive <laughs> track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where it's going. I don't think I would be up for that. Um, it depends. I, I I have no issues with my body. I would quite happily go on a show like that, right? But the problem that I would then have is I would then be just going, instead of going, oh, hello, hello. We need to, we need to eat, Mike. Mm, touching body. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. It hasn't kind of said what the quests are. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be doing them. No, you'd just be lying in the sand face down, would you? Oh, no, not face down. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, I think I'll, I'll, I'll bring the showbiz news to an end on that note. Oh, okay. While I was thinking about my yes, anyway. Well, thank you, Lee. Stick around. It's coming up. We've got our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're playing a new game called Ooza Kazoo. So before we get started, off you perambulate. I'm sure I've just made that word up, you know. Bye bye. Oh. Game of the Week. All he needs to do is sing a little song, which would be easy if he could hold a tune, and even easier if he wasn't forced to do it through a kazoo. <laughs> Are you ready for the first one, Mike? Yeah, go on, shove it in your gob and see what happens. <laughs> Danger Mouse. Would you like one more go? Yeah, go on, one more go. <laughs> no, no idea. No? No. Really? It was Spider-Man. Spider-Man? No? Oh, well, this is going to go well, isn't it? Another one. Okay. Oh, I've been enjoying another one. Okay, go on. <laughs> Literally, that is exactly the same as, as, as the... I'll get it's the theme tune. Oh, well, that, that makes it easy then. I literally can't do it with any more without shouting the actual words um, into the thing. <laughs> Just try to do it in a tune, that would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, 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 oh. Scooby Doo. Yeah. Do you think? With me just going Scooby Doo de Doo into the end of it. This is um like a very famous, well known. <laughs> It's your, it's your face through the screen of utter confusion. Take me off to the ball game. No. Take me off to the ball game. No, it's kind of similar to that era. Oh, I actually think I'm already singing the wrong song. I got. <laughs> Right, I think I, this is I, the right I'm one. sorry, I think I'm singing the wrong <laughs> song. <laughs> I think I was singing Let's Go to the Ballpark, but with the words to this song that I'm supposed to be singing. Okay, right, hang on. <laughs> Yankee dude. Yay! Okay, right. Do you think it's okay? Well, I mean, I did get a bit confused. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Um, this is a this is a modern pop song. The Beatles, let it be. No, massive, massive hit. Beatles were pretty big. Huh? Beatles were pretty big. Yeah, but but like much, much more later. Okay. Jesus Christ, superstar. What? All that was was angry shouting through a kazoo. It wasn't to a tune. It, it wasn't. Are you not hearing what I'm hearing? No, because I can't hear the voices in your head. Or oh anything. my god! It's like literally it's the tune. <laughs> oh, are you giving up on that one? I'm giving up on Angels that. by Robbie Williams. How the f was that Angels? I threw it. Now you're singing the actual words. Yeah. <laughs> Now I can hear the words. Yeah, it's easier. But I'm not supposed to say the words. Oh, right, okay, this is a theme tune <laughs> for, <laughs> for a kid's TV show. <clears throat> Teenage Mutant Ninja. Yes! You see, the more you do it, the more your mind becomes in twisted. Tune. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, okay. This is this is another theme tune. Okay. Okay. Ghostbusters? Yes! <laughs> I, pref I think I prefer it when I get it wrong. You shout <laughs> less. Oh, dear. Right, okay. All right. Um, oh, okay. You might remember this from your youth. Okay. In gym? No. The. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's in your mouth anymore. It's just, you're now seeing the wheels on the bus, but you're doing it. The wheels on the bus. <laughs> it's the only way you can get them, is if I do that. <laughs> Another children's television program. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chitty chitty bang bang. No! I'm so. Oh my god. That's not the theme tune, but I'm giving you a clue. Oh, right. That really helped, thanks, Lee. <laughs> Vision! <laughs> Chuckle Vision! <laughs> no! I shouted it! I've just said Chuckle Vision! Chuckle Vision, yes! Oh my god! Why are you I'm very so red aggressive? in the face! I'm looking in the mind face. so aggressive right. at me. Last one. Whew. Right, this is like an old. Right, so. <clears throat> Grand Old Duke of York? What? The Grand Old Duke of York had 10,000 men. The power of love? No. I've not got Kazuma mouth! How are you not hearing this? The Grand Old Duke of York. The Grand... No, it's, it's not the Grand Old Duke of York. Jeez, you need to get an ear test. All right. <laughs> I on... need to get a hearing test? <laughs> you can't just uh, get between the Grand Old Duke of York and the power of love. It's <laughs> a different words. <laughs> That's the power of love. <laughs> right. What? The Grand Old Duke of York is... <laughs> I didn't say the power of love. You That's nothing did. like it. And the song is this. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, mate? They all sound the same. <laughs> do, you, do you give up? I give up. I quit. Okay, no. it shall be coming round the mountain, clearly. Oh, clearly, obviously. Yeah. I think. Uh, is that it? Is that the uh, end of that? No, we're not doing any more. No, no more. One more. Okay. No, 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 no more. No more. No more. <laughs> no more. One no more. You more. say one more. I'm saying... Okay. <laughs> this Stay tuned because after the break we're doing Crafty Queens. <laughs> Just escape. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now is that part of the show that one person said was the best craft-based segment of a TV show that they'd seen all day. It's Crafty Queens. So it's autumn, Mike. Mm -hmm. Prelude to winter. Yes, epilogue of spring. Epilogue of spring oh, and summer. Summer, really. Yeah. So leaves are turning and dropping to the floor. Mm -hmm. Everything's crisp and... Mm, not everything's crisp. Rain's not crisp. Oh, you know. Drizzle. So we're going to do an autumn craft. Yay. Yeah. So we're going to... So what says autumn more than an owl? What says, what says autumn more than leaves? What says more than a, a, an owl made out of a leaf? No, nothing. So let's get on with it, Mike. So in front of you, you will have, <laughs> you will have uh -huh. um, <laughs> some stuff that we're going to make a picture of now. <laughs> so, so what I want you to do first <laughs> is take the um, black piece of foam out of your uh, box frame, please. If you could manage that with your stubby little fingers. If it wasn't wedged in, because it's not the right size. It is the right size, I cut it to size. It didn't do very well, because it's over-lipped. No, don't start the session off aggressive. Okay, right. So, that, that's gonna, this is gonna be the, that, this is gonna be the night sky for okay. which the owl will be sitting on. 
So the owl's going to be sitting on the night sky. In the night sky. In the night sky. So uh, what I want you to do is to find your biggest leaf. Okay, I have the okay. biggest leaf. Yeah. So that's going to make its body. Uh huh. So what I would like you to do is put some glue on the back of it, okay. and and so the so the um leaf is going to go in the middle of the piece. Oh, of it's this awful glue that runs everywhere. You only need a little bit of glue because it's going to. The frame holds it in. Okay. What you might have to do, if your leaf is a little, is a little bit too big for your piece of foam, mm -hmm. and that's just rip a bit off. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> then get your <laughs> your second biggest leaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be its head. But instead of having it vertically. You're yeah. going to do it horizontally and put it at the top of your leaf. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just I'm just going to pull that little bit off there, so that doesn't look like an, an owl at the moment, though, does it, Mike? I won't want to finish either. <laughs> okay. I've glued a leaf onto a leaf onto some. Okay, fur. so then now you need to find the other, the little leaves that are kind of, I want to say acorn leaves. Oak leaves. Oak leaves. Oak leaves. I'm Oak highly allergic. Leaves, yes, um, and they're going to be its wings. Don't care, do you? Huh? Don't care that I'm allergic to oak leaves. Are you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. But it'll be fine. Um, and you're going to glue those. Um, me, <laughs> me. You're going to glue those. Either side of the body, like it's just sat resting. Did you never do this kind of thing when you were a child, Mike? Leaf making pictures? No. No. Especially with other people being aware that I'm allergic to things like oak leaves and. Well, it's not like you go. It's not like you, there's a memo being sent round. All the things that Mike's allergic to. It's not much. Oak leaves. It's not something I would have thought when I picked this morning. Oh, yeah. Mike might be allergic to oak leaves. Yeah. Okay, so you've got your, you've got your, you've got your wings on. Yeah. What you need to do now is get because owls have little tufty, tufty ears, don't they? They do have ears. Yeah. yeah. So you've got some little, sort of ready brownie shaped leaves. Uh huh. Yeah. They're different sizes. Yeah. Yeah, but you get what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, stick them on underneath the leaf. Underneath the leaf. Yeah, so it's so the little the tip is po poking out. Just the tip, yeah. Yeah, just the tip is poking out of the top of the head. Okay. Now it is. Have you ever had an experience with an owl? Yes. Have you? Yes. Um, I used to have a friend that was into falconry. And did he have an owl? I did yeah. Just, just a... fal falconry isn't just falcons; it's also other birds of prey. Oh. And as a school experiment. He brought in owl poo because oh. owls have this thing where they will eat the whole thing that they catch, skeleton and all. Yes, and it all comes out in their poop. Yeah. Mm. So could, we actually rebuilt a mouse from from a couple of poops. Wow. Um, that was the eighties for you. Big fun. Oh. Now you you've got to sparkle it up a little bit because it wouldn't be a crafty queen segment without a bit of sparkle. Uh -huh. You have some gold and orangey, autumny coloured sort of sparkly leaf shapes. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to choose whether you want you want your owl to have a gold beak or a orange beak. Okay. Yeah. And then just fold the one of the corners over of the little leaf to make a beak shape. Okay. And then just rip it off. Which is very difficult to do because this is very hard material. So <laughs> I'm gonna suggest <laughs> just fold one in half to make a beak like that. Oh, okay. Okay, and then <laughs> and then glue that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna glue its mouth shut because it's gaping. Um <laughs> that before. <laughs> In the middle of the head. <laughs> in the middle of the head, it's gaping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that, so now I've got, I've brought you some googly eyes. Ooh. Ooh. They, they're, uh, they sat up downstairs in the, because owls have very big eyes, don't they? They do. They do. So, all oh, the better to see you with. That or was things a wolf. with. And you're just going to glue those onto the head. Okay. Make an owl face. Okay. Yeah. And then. 
Um, with the the remaining golden orange things, uh -huh. you're going to glue those onto the wings, just to give it a little bit of interest, Mike. Oh, okay. Not like it's you know not already interesting. <laughs> so no, is it just owls that you do this with? You, you well, you know, you don't have animals. to restrict yourself to an owl. Oh, that's could, <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't have to restrict myself to an owl. Don't restrict yourself to an owl. Let your imagination go crazy, Mike. You could make a squirrel or a hedgehog or a badger or a T-Rex. Whatever's Whatever nature holds in your area. <laughs> <T> <laughs> nature holds a T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah, so so and that so right so I have cre right. so I've created the owl's body. Yep. Oh, I've got an extra feather there. I might stick that on. Ooh. Uh, can't be wasting stuff. It's the first rule of crafty, crafty queens. Crafty queens <laughs> never waste anything. Um, <laughs> so, so never waste anything. Never waste anything. Never waste anything. Never waste anything. Okay. Oh. Right. So you'll have a stick, little stick. I do. Because that's what Lee, the owl. Fetch. That, that, that is what the owl is going to sit on. So you might need to snap that, snap the trig off um, to the right size of the piece of paper. Oh, it did it already without me. Nature found a way to do it for me. Okay. Okay. So now the last final bit is you've got some little sparkly um, gems. They're going to be stars because it's nighttime, Mike. When right, the owl okay. comes out, are they self-adhesive at least. They are self-adhesive, so you can stick those in a pattern that, that represents the night sky. So when you when you when you think when you've got you think you've got enough gems on there, almost finished. Then you're going to put your got to be a little bit careful because it might be still be a little bit moist with the glue. You're going to put your oh, run out of space picture. Into the box frame. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Put the back on. Fold the little doohickeys down. <gasps> oh my word. Oh, that is art. So I fell off as I was putting it in the frame. That's nice. And an expletive has appeared in a star it's formation. Dropped off. Oh. Well, you can buy mine at my Etsy store. That you can find in the bin around the back of the mill later if you want to go and have a look. And that's the end of Crafty Queens this week. And remember, if you can't get yourself some peen, be a crafty queen. So yeah, that was impressive. Mine's beautiful. Yeah, but your piece of foam also fits the frame. Yours fits the frame. It look, it fits. Hey, look, go around the back. <sighs> it overlaps. Well, it's fine. Obviously, yeah. But that's almost the end of the show. Please remember to join us on our social media. That's at the Good TV. Our website is the Good TV, and of course YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. I need to show you this. <laughs> <laughs>